What's up guys, Peter here, back with another video. Today, this has nothing to do with the gameplay. I am the 76ers, I was playing my friend, and I thought it was only fair if I did try to challenge with the 76ers team. But anyway, we're gonna be talking about something that could actually happen with 2K17, and this is it having no my park. Now, as of now, which is the beginning of May, there is no confirmed my park in 2K17. No developer, no Ronnie 2K, LD 2K has said anything about park next year. All they've talked about is my team and park this year, and my team, of course, this year. Is 2K gonna take out my park next year? With the direction they're going with 2K16, like every YouTuber says, my park is 2K's abandoned child. They do not care about my park one bit. All they have done in the past, I don't know, three, four months? I don't even know what it is at this point. They've come out with one patch that's getting rid of speed boosting. So all they really care about is the cheese. They do not care about my park itself. And I'm really pissed off at this because out of all the things you could have patched, you could have patched mascot glitch, tiger glitch, all the mid rangers are broken, all you lag out of so many parts, there's so many glitches. Like, I, I don't even know, but you decided to patch speed boosting, which is actually not even a bad thing. Everybody could do it. It really was not unfair. It made the games go faster. Like, how are you supposed to play 10,000 games to hit Legend 5? Do you really have any time for that? How am I supposed to win over a thousand more games to hit Legend 3 for you guys when the games are going to take twice as long? Because it takes twice as long to get past people, so the shot clock's going to keep going. And if you think about it, speed boosting was actually good for this game. And it actually takes more skill to speed boost than to just spam size ups like everybody did before speed boosting was a thing. That just proves that 2K does not care about my part one bit. Now, 2K17 with this patch is also not a good sign for 2K17. At the same time, it kind of is though. This is why. They should be working on 2K17 a lot right now. Like, instead, they decide to come out with a patch like this. They're basically giving up on 2K16, right? Now, from this point, there's two directions they can go. So there's one. 2K can get and go the direction that everybody wants them to be. 2K can, you know, actually make my part good next year. They can get the presentation right. They can take out all the glitches, like, way before seven months into the game. Uh, even, though no, speed boosting isn't even a glitch, but they can take out anything they're gonna even potentially take out before it becomes a big thing. Like, if you take out something like speed boosting that everybody uses, they're, yeah, they're gonna get pissed off. They can actually make an effort to make my part fun next year. They can stop riding the my team players. They can, you know, they can actually do this, but it's up to them, and with, they can also go another direction, and that is the same direction that they're going right now, which is not caring about my part players, not caring about anybody, and all they're caring about is cheese right now. Like, they literally have done nothing to park, but you look at my team, hundreds of cars have come out in the past month, where they're getting a new diamond this, new diamond that. Uh, I was watching 2K stream the other day. Let's see, they talked about five minutes or five to ten minutes about patch six, but they weren't talking about parts specifically. But all their t uh, next thing after that, oh yeah, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying all these playoff my team cards, and uh, oh you're gonna look forward to this throwback Thursday diamond that's coming out. They're acting like nobody plays any other mode than my team, and everything else is just secondary. Now yes, I do like playing my team sometimes. I do like playing my career, my GM, whatever sometimes but primarily you guys know i play my park when i stream i play my part if you look at the stream and stuff this is reality people care about my park the most all you see why'd you come out with patch six bring back speed boosting blah 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 blah, blah. in the community's eyes the face of 2k that 2k wants is my team but what the community cares about is my part so yeah like i was saying there's the other direction 2k can go and that's completely taking out my park now with the direction they're going right now this actually seems logical why would they spend millions of dollars making something that they're not going to care about like it seems that 2k has already given up on 2k 16 park so why are all of a sudden they're going to start caring about it next year they don't get it in their heads that this is the park like this is what so many people play they just want their money guys and 2k is not i don't even know what direction 2k is going to go i'm going to make a separate video about that but yeah why is 2k going to even bring back park next year if they're not going to care one bit about it with the park we are a self-made community you guys know 2k doesn't care about us all these youtubers they're the ones that host the tournaments right really we are the ones that make this community guys what's the point of putting in my park in 2k's eyes if they're not going to care about it like really what is the point the only reason i'm saying this is because 2k's just gotten so out of hand with like i thought they were actually going to start caring about 2k16 my park again 
because we really have no idea what they're going to do with Park next year. They've not said anything about it. So it can either be really good or really bad. They have not confirmed anything about my park. So why would they even put it in? Now what do I think about this? So next year I really do want 2K to go in that direction where they do care about my park blah 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 blah. But I guarantee you it's not going to be completely like that. If 2K makes park anything like it is this year, I don't even know. What I might not even go for legend. I don't really know. It's really up to 2K. It's somewhat up to you guys. If you guys really want to see my park, yeah, I'm going to play, but is it really do you guys really want to see me playing a game that I don't really enjoy because yeah, I yeah, I do have to give 2K a chance with this patch 6 thing, but am I really going to enjoy a game that a 2k does not even care about at all or at least not care about after like the first two months like after rival day after patch three blah blah after all of that they really didn't do anything to the game until now where they changed one thing where they could have changed like a ton of other things so what do you guys think about all of this the only reason i thought this could even possibly happen is because of what i've seen from 2k in the past few months just regarding my part, they've literally just done nothing to it, and they don't care about it at all, and there's nothing that's been confirmed about my park next year, but there has been a lot that's confirmed about my team next year, and we all know that they just ride my team players, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, drop a like if you enjoyed, drop a like if you want 2k to go in the first direction, where they really care about my park, and they actually make it fun, and they don't ruin it with a patch, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one, peace.